We talked about youth homelessness and homelessness in general, finding affordable rent, uh, unemployment. There was a third question one of our youth asked as well, and it was kind of, a, a, kind of an interesting question. I didn't expect it. Um, he said this. Uh, he understood that there was some turmoil in city council last term and wondered what he would do if elected mayor to bring council together. Bill Longworth. The first thing we need on council is strong leadership. And we've suffered from weak leadership over the last term mm -hmm. and that that has been the major problem the mayor is not in charge mm -hmm. I think there's a councillor that's in charge but not the mayor <laughs> and, uh, the councillor has a bunch of bobbleheads <laughs> that are trying trying to do everything that she wants them to do. I think that's wrong. So one of the things to get away from this, if I were mayor, I would introduce computerized voting so that everybody votes at the same time. You can't say, oh, how's, how's that person voting? Because that's my, that's my uh, clue as to how. So, and the other thing about computerized voting, not only at the same time, but all of the voting records would be available to voters come election day so a voter couldn't uh, support something like the incinerator <laughs> and then say, oh no, I didn't vote for that or vote to wipe out the ward system and say, oh no, I didn't vote for that. Yeah. So we have to make politicians far more accountable and it's ward elections that does that. I'll hold you to that. John, did you want to respond to that? You know that uh, members, of, members of council follow the municipal act, and their behavior is their own. And uh, you can have a great debate and have a lot of passion, but when it's over, the issue's over. You go on to the next issue. Our problem is, is we continue to rehash issues and issues and issues. And once they're done, they're done. You know, everybody in this room was taught how to behave by their family or their parents, and uh, you know, you live by that code. So in the council chambers, sometimes it gets to be ruckus. Uh, it does at the region as well. But when the issue's over, it's over, and you should go on to the next. Move to the Well, I'm going to speak to this. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, what what's transpired in this uh, current uh, council is unacceptable. Uh, from just the discussion hasn't happened. They have shut every discussion down. They have blocked every opportunity for people to bring questions forward. They have opposed people from asking the questions yeah. Yeah. and they do it in a block of eight yeah. to three yeah. and yeah. they've right. steadfastly right. and uniformly denied the people the right to know what's going on with their city so yeah. what, what the youth wanted to know is what you would do well i'm going to address that okay it, the, the thing that we have I, and i've started to do it i'm bringing forth information i've uh, uh, um pulled in from FOIs to show that the system is broken. And I want to use that as a foundation to show how we can move forward with a program and a plan that is going to engage the public in dialogue to build a better city because a community engaged is an invested community and we can build a better city for ourselves. And that comes from leadership and I want to be that leader to take this city forward because as much as we go uh, through the motions here, why have something that's familiar? Let's go something new. Let's go with something with vision. Thank you, John Craig. Thank you very much. Well, we all know what happened on September 3rd, 2013. It's been a real blight on the city of Oshawa. But it would really have helped if the chair of the meetings actually read the rule book and understand the rules. That's <laughs> fundamental. So I'll make sure I bone up on all the new rules but you can't just, you have to be tough but fair when you're in the chair. Um, there may be somebody saying something that you don't like, but as long as they're in line, you let them speak. That's just so, something you've got to accept. But right now, it's, it's groupthink, as has been mentioned before, and if you, if you hear something you don't want to see, 